everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm cooking some vegetables while I'm driving down the road in Virginia. And the way I'm able to do that is I bought a, an inverter. An inverter is a mechanism that changes the DC current in your car to AC so that you can use an appliance to do whatever. And the inverter looks like that. And this particular inverter is a high quality inverter. Unlike most of them, um, this inverter has, this is a, 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 um, a pure sign, that's what it's called, a pure sign, S-I-N-E inverter, versus a modified sign, which means that it's putting out electricity that's very smooth and flowing like the electricity that's in your house. And um, that's what your appliances want to run best off of. And then there's also a varying of quality of the components in the inverter. And I've really had to watch quite a few videos on this and, and get to get an idea of what I needed to, to buy and the way I needed to hook it up, which is directly connected to the battery with its own fuse, the fuse box underneath the hood. So my mechanic, mechanic and I got together and did that. And um, so the slow cooker is right there, as you can see. And it's very hot. Yesterday I cooked my first pot of food in there. And it uh, came out great. Took a couple of hours on high, as normal. And uh, works awesome. Now, one thing I learned is that if I stop the car, if I turn off the vehicle, then the battery isn't receiving power from the alternator, and then the battery will get low from cooking the food, and the uh, inverter has an automatic shut-off mechanism as soon as the, the inverter gets, or the battery gets down to only putting out 10.5 volts, then the inverter automatically shuts off then I'm not cooking anymore, which is good so that it doesn't burn out my battery. And, uh, but it takes a bit of planning ahead to cook 